Right, it's a frozen one, Unique. Apologies. <laughs> right. Uh, are you going to splash me out of Go on. Yeah, that's a challenging one, isn't it? Good boy. Good boy. But before any of that... <laughs> Intro. Right, good morning kids. Get your coats on. It's a cold one. Come on. Good morning. From a uh, bah, bright, sunny, freezing, cold uh, southwest of France. The Chironde. <clears throat> Apologies about the voice. Um, <laughs> it's, it's worse in the morning. But it, what it does mean, though, trying to reframe things into a positive, I can do a really good Morgan Freeman impression. I'm not doing it. But, um, <laughs> so Sean's definitely here today. <clears throat> I'm not sure about Marlon. Um, and I'm not sure what he's doing. It's, um, I think he might be doing the electrics now that the plastering's in, in Robbie's room. Kids back to school today. So, uh, so that's good. It's been a challenging but enjoyable two weeks. I'm trying to give, uh, I'm trying to keep two children uh, entertained within the half term period. Anyway, there's somebody over there. I was feeling a little bit left out. I'll show you. Right, it's a frozen one, unique. Apologies. <laughs> right. Uh. Are you going to splash me out of Go on. Yeah, that's a challenging one, isn't it? Good boy. Good boy. It amazes you, Lisa and I. Um, that you guys watch it. Watch the channel to the end. And a lot of you, every day. So, um, yeah. Yeah, it's, a, it's weird to become what other channels have come to us in the past does that, does that make sense um yeah to you guys so yeah it, it, it was done purely by accident you know we started this channel to do the old post brexit um thing um you know to give people advice on navigating through the post brexit uh visa process and then it's turned into like a daily vlog of our lives and uh yeah and you guys enjoy it as long as you as long as you continue to enjoy it we'll yeah, we'll continue doing it. Yeah, loads of questions in the comments yesterday. Um, yeah, yes, why are house prices so cheap? We think, because we've been told, and you know, the information out there is ambiguous, is that the youngsters in the in the rural places like this are all disappearing off to the um, to the big towns and the cities, which makes obviously house prices down there uh, a bit cheaper. But uh, house prices are on the up, so if you're thinking about it. Do it now, do it now, but you can still get a decent bargain. You know, don't pay asking price, never pay the asking price. Go in with a proper cheeky offer. What's the worst you can say? No. Yeah. So, um, do that. <laughs> oh, and what I would say is, whatever your budget is, just like with a renovation project, probably have at least 20% backup because things are going to go wrong. You know, for us, the oven. We needed to uh, to sell the garden track there, add another 1,300 euros onto that. We've got the electrics to sort out. The rooms, you know, that was going to be done in the future. Um, you know, so we weren't intending on using the budget for that. But Sean was available. It's difficult to get uh, your tradies over here and ones that are, that are available. Um, what else do we need to buy? The car was double the budget. 
uh, than what we thought it was going to be. I ended up buying a brand new motorbike instead of a second hand because the second hand ones um, are, not, are not that much cheaper. And they're not, uh, they're not MOT'd yet over here, so I wanted a bike that was going to be safe. Yeah, the chimney needed debistrage, which was over 300 euros. Um, three and a half thousand euros for, for the log burner and the, and the new flue. You know, so there's going to be stuff, you know, if, especially when you buy an old property, that you're going to need to be spending money on. You know, so whatever your budget is, add at least another 20% for the things that, that are going to need doing to the house. Do that. You excited about school? Yeah. See your friends? Yeah. yeah. Okay. On either. Well, that's some dropped off. Uh, no tears from Evangeline, which is good. Uh, it was difficult at first when she first came over. She used to cry when she was uh, dropped off and cried when she was picked up. But uh, yeah, she's excited now. She's your friend. <laughs> right. Bit of shopping. Back home. Let's do that. I'm right, back home. Um, I can tell Sean's here because uh, I can hear stuff going on upstairs. Well, let's make him a brew and find out what's going on. So. We've had a bit of a change of plan as to the bathroom um, and that's because Lisa, when um, once all, all, this, all these walls were taken down the other day, she walked in through this way. I'll show you what she, what she saw. So it opened this right up into what could be a, like a lovely huge bathroom as opposed to having separate, separate. So instead of having the shower coming this way. We're gonna have the shower going that way. And uh, so having a stud wall there, I'm gonna show you the, I'm gonna show you the plan in there. Um, and then just having like a, the glass screen here and then the entrance into it there. I'm gonna, I'll show you the plan. So, no longer gonna have that door at all. That's the door that I just walked in, in from, and that shower there is now going to go across this way instead. If that makes sense. So I bought a shower a few months ago. I called it the Fast Love Shower because it's like from George Michael's video to Fast Love 996. Um, I had an email from Leroy Merlin's Luan Merlin um, a few weeks ago saying that uh, it's been recalled. <laughs> So it's a good job. I got the email before it went up. Anyway, just in time. So I'm going to go with Sean up to Lyon Melon uh, in Limoges and uh, I'm going to go and get that changed. Right, let's do that. This plaster's really wet still. So. Yeah. That's a few bits and pieces from Le Um yeah. And I didn't change the shower in the, in the end. I read the email properly. It's fine. Right, I'm absolutely starving. I've come to one of these places. He's a mental. Peter. Right, bored it all, Peter. My brother asked me once whether there was a man inside there making it. No, there isn't. <laughs> The only problem with these pizzas are, yeah, if they don't come sliced, after have to tear and share, or tear and not share.
Yeah, so a bit of a weird one today. I'm not, I'm not doing this outside, it's raining and it's cold. Hence the fire. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a bit of a weird one. Um, not a lot of visual progress, but a lot of actual progress, you know, so the, so the shower tray is ordered, um, bought a light for the uh, ceiling, um, I've got some uh, adhesive for the, for, for the skirting board. Um, it, it's gonna take another few days uh, for the plasterboard in those two rooms to uh, to dry out. Um, maybe Sean's going to be getting the sockets in tomorrow. So yeah, a bit of a... wasn't expecting to go to Le Mans Milan today. So uh, I love going there though. Love it. It just takes ages. Anyway, got this far. Thank you. Uh, if you like these videos, please subscribe. Um, give us a thumbs up. Cost bugger all. Voices get better. Um, add a comment, you know, like a comment, always reply, did do this morning as well, at five. Uh, leaves one last thing left to say. It's not from me. It's not from him. It's not from her. And it's not from me either. Laters.